So check this out, everyone. It's been a while since I've been here, huh? So I am back in Elkhart, Indiana, and I am at the Lux factory. The RV factory is actually what the name of the location is, and they produce Lux luxury RVs. About as custom as they get. But yeah, I'm gonna spend some time out here filming some new floor plans. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we're here at the Lux and Body Works showroom. So Body Works actually produces, modifies, upfits trucks to be able to haul these huge, very heavy fifth wheels. They have some of their really, really cool looking trucks here. I mean, check this thing out. This is a Ram 5500. And the reason why something like this is important is because you need the payload capacity to be able to haul a Lux. You can't just get your normal, you know, off the showroom floor Ram 3500, especially if it's a high trim truck, because you're unlikely to have the cargo capacity to be able to actually carry the pin weight of most Lux fifth wheels. They're that heavy. And it's not because they're trying to intentionally make them heavy. It's because they're huge and they're very custom made. And they do a lot of construction perks that people often ask for in the RV industry, but sometimes they don't realize how much weight that actually adds to an RV. So what you can expect from a pin weight perspective on a unit like this, which is gonna be one of their lighter, shorter, smaller units, probably around a base weight of 3,500, 4,000 pounds roughly. And then whenever you look at their heavier units, their tri-axles, things like that, toy haulers are a little bit unique, mainly because you remove some of that weight as you load a toy in the back. So you could see like 15, 20, 30% of your pin weight actually start coming off if you add toys to the back. But when you don't have toys in the back, they're actually really heavy up front because they know that that cantilevering effect is going to remove some of it with the toys in the back. Because the whole point of getting a toy hauler is to have toys in the back. So this actually has a full Kelderman air ride suspension on it. Not even kidding you. Let me show you real quickly what we're talking about here. This is absolutely kind of insane what they've done. So they've built it around a torsion flex axle, but you can see the airbags right there. So yeah, Kelderman air ride on this Lux toy hauler. Super, super cool. But on some of these really, really long units like this one, you know, you can probably expect to have anywhere between 4,000 to 5,000 pounds worth of pin weight which doesn't sound like it's a, a lot for a modern dually, but most modern dualies are gonna have 4,500 to 5,500 pounds, maybe 5,700 pounds worth of cargo capacity. So once you throw a hitch in the back, once you throw people inside of the truck, you're typically gonna be right at the very maximum of most modern dually pickup trucks. That's the reason why you wanna look at something like a 4500, 5500 series truck, Freightliner trucks, medium duty vehicles that have anywhere between 6,500 and 7,000 pounds worth of capacity because you wanna have that buffer. You wanna have more capacity than you need versus just the exact amount of capacity that you need because it's always good to have a safety margin. A lot of reasons why you may wanna look at a Lux unit. Uh, first of all, they have a very, very interesting sidewall. You're probably familiar with other brands that utilize like a three inch thick sidewall or three and a quarter inch thick sidewall like drv and riverstone and a few other brands but one of the differences here is how the wall is actually insulated so if you look at a traditional three inch thick sidewall or three and a quarter inch thick sidewall depending on the company most of the time almost all the time it's going to have a batted style residential insulation inside of the wall which is a hung style insulation they'll usually spray an adhesive in they'll stuff the wall full of it and then they close it up and there's some theory that some some of that can sag over time or that it's not going to completely fill the void of the wall cavity itself. What the folks here at Lux do is a little bit different. So they use a graphite infused foam inside of the wall as opposed to batted insulation. And their walls are now completely Asdell from the outside panel to the inside panel. So you have Asdell, a thicker Asdell on the outside with a really high end fiberglass on top of it. Then on the inside, you also have Asdell now as well. So you have a completely composite sidewall, which really, really makes this a standout unit. I know there's other brands now that are more along the mid price line that do that but the difference here is that they have that graphite infused foam and i'll have a sample of it to show you a little bit later uh, the other things that you'll notice are just the focus on quality like check out these doors on most rvs you're gonna have the typical you know lippert supplied baggage door this is an aluminum door that's foam filled this is the kind of thing you expect to see on a super high-end motor coach so that's also a big deal 
The furniture inside Lux units are very motor coach grade as well. And then also your cabinetry, everything is solid wood. So you're not gonna see any press board. You're not gonna see any laminated wood. Everything is solid wood. And that's an area oftentimes you can't see. You can walk through all sorts of other factories. You can walk through all sorts of high-end RVs. And you may have aspects of real wood, real solid wood, but you're unlikely to have solid wood cabinets, which is something that you're gonna see here. The frames that these sit on are very, very custom to the folks at Lux. So they have a frame that's produced by the folks at Lippert, but the frame is a very, very structural frame in the sense that it's not just your typical I-beam with a drop frame and then shooting up to your upper deck. It's braced all the way around and all the way to the back because when you're dealing with this much weight, you wanna have that type of frame structure. I don't know if you can see it here because they cover all of it up as well. And everything is very, very neatly ran. Now this is their showroom, so they have all sorts of floor plans in here. I'm specifically out here today to film one particular floor plan uh, that's kind of new, and it, the thing's a behemoth, so when we get to that, you're gonna, you're gonna see why. And then you have this thing right here, just look how tall it is. We'll walk through some of these as well. But there's a lot of reasons, again, why Lux is considered a premium unit, and not only are Lux premium units, they're built to order. So you come in, you pick everything out. You pick your color. Oftentimes, the color scheme you see on a Lux was chosen by the owner or the new owner to match a tow vehicle or to match a boat or to match something else in their life that they want the color scheme to match. So whenever you see these really, really crazy exotic color schemes, it's all automotive grade paint. And then you might see some more you know, kind of generalized schemes as well. Something not quite as fancy, something more, I guess, basic. That's because the owner or the future owner of the unit specifically wants it that way. They chose that color scheme. Uh, when it comes to your tires, your axles, all of that, these are all things that you can also work with as well. So a lot of these units are gonna have a Moride independent suspension system. Uh, they're gonna come with H-rated tires. Uh, these are the Cooper Work Series. and. As we go around and we look at some of the other units, you'll see that they're all gonna have kind of their own unique character. Automotive disc brakes. You have a 12 inch I-beam frame that's reinforced with a box section underneath it. You have massive, massive slide out structure. So the slide out components on Lux units are also kind of second to none. Uh, whenever they design the frame and chassis for a Lux, it's very, very much customized to this brand. It's not just the run of the mill drop frame that you buy from Lippert. So, Whenever a frame is specced out for these, it's gonna be probably longer and more heavy duty than just about anything else that's on the market. You can see the back cap as well as the front cap are very customized to the folks over at Lux. Beautiful, beautiful back end to these things. And they have a very, very motor coach appeal to them as well. Because if you're out shopping for, you know, a, a motor home and that's just not the right thing for you, but you still have a budget for a high-end diesel pusher, and you decide to get something towable. Maybe you wanna tow one of these with a Freightliner. Maybe you wanna tow one of these with a Peterbilt or a Volvo. You wanna go super, super large. Well, this is the company you would go to, or it's one of the companies you would go to, to really customize and have a, a very, very unique and personalized RV to what you're specifically looking for. Um, there are some things that are relatively standardized across the industry, but you'll notice that they're larger on here. For instance, this utilizes the Equalizer auto leveling system. And if you just look at the jack legs on this thing, they're significantly larger than what you might normally see on even a DRV. Uh, whenever you look at like the front pin box, this is really one of those areas where this Gen Y hitch truly, truly, or Gen Y pin box truly stands out because you have the weight necessary and the pin weight to really allow this torsion flex technology to work well. Uh, whether you get it with a traditional kingpin or you get it with a fifth wheel or a gooseneck connection. And you know, the, the cool story about the Lux product in general is that even through COVID, people are still ordering these. They are customizing them because they want something that is truly a mobile mansion, something that you can take out on the road that's going to differentiate them from what other units there are on the road. And, you know, if you go to motorhome rallies, you're going to see, you know, $500,000 up motorhomes completely filling up the parking lot. So there's a lot of folks that will say, you know, who can afford these? Who has the budget for these? Well, it's really that same buyer who 
you know, would attend those types of shows and typically have a motorhome. You can set one of these up with a really cool tow vehicle, a huge tow vehicle. You can have a really, really great fifth wheel setup with arguably more living space than any motor coach you're going to have. And you can do it in a way that is completely customized to what you're specifically looking for. And Lux is arguably one of the best manufacturers of super high-end luxury fifth wheels. So uh, we're not going to walk through this unit because everything's shut off. And I think most of these are powered down. The unit that we're going to walk through in the next video is sitting right outside. It's a new floor plan. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's 48 feet long. And it weighs 27,000 pounds. That thing's going to be a beast. But I felt it was really important to kind of give you the cover story to the Lux brand before we show you that. And um, it's important to understand that whenever you're looking at a product like this, you are at a different price level, right? This is not a Montana. This is not a Grand Design. This is not an Alliance or even a Brinkley or any of those brands or even a DRV. This is probably a couple rungs above a DRV in terms of luxury. Actually, it's several rungs above a DRV in terms of luxury, um, but also in terms of construction and what they're doing. Very, very cool. Um, again, just wanted to give you a brief kind of walk through of some of the things that you can expect to see in the next video, especially if I miss some of them, like the graphite infused foam Asdell sidewalls and things like that. But anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Now is a great time. Subscribe to the channel. So whenever I post this next video with this absolutely huge behemoth Lux Elite that we're going to go through, and it's a new floor plan, you, uh, you kind of understand some of the ins and outs and why the Lux brand is so synonymous with quality as well as luxury. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.